In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect BERT to SQL Server. Here I have SQL Server Management Studio, and you can see I have the AdventureWorks database installed. So this is just a sample da database for SQL Server that you can download. Um, you can just Google um, download um, and installing uh, AdventureWorks um, the SQL Server database, and uh, it will install it for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up BERT and uh, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and create a report. So I'm just going to create a new report here and we're going to call this SQL Connection. I'm just going to use the default directory for now. Okay, so now that we have a report, uh, we need to create a data source. Um, so in BERT, you have data sources that connect to the database, and then you have data sets that use those corresponding data sources that are connected to the database. So um, here, if I right click and I click New Data Source, there's various options that you can choose. And Bert, uh, pretty much what you're going to probably want to choose is going to be always be a JDBC, a JDBC data source. Um, so this will be for you to connect to SQL Server, uh, MySQL, um, different data sources like that. So I'm going to name this data source SQL Server. Click, click Next. And then I'm going to choose my SQL Server, my my SQL Server um, driver. Then I need to put in my database URL. So um, let me go back and talk about the the SQL Server driver um, just for, for a minute. Um, I'm going to show you at the end of this video how to actually install the SQL Server driver um, by clicking on Manage Drivers um, and then choosing the driver. You basically just have to go and download a, uh, a the driver file online and then uh, download it to a specific location and then add that driver. So, but for now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and choose it because um, I already have it and then I'm going to put in the database URL here. And so um, what I've done is what I've done is ha here in Notepad I have the uh, the database driver URL. Again, this is something you could you could find online, um, but basically what it is is you put your server name here which is my server name and then you put in the database name okay and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that in my SQL I'm going to put in my username and password. And you um, want to make sure that you have SQL Server um, authentication turned on for your SQL Server instance. And then I'm going to click I'm going to click on test connection. And we have a we have a, a connection successful message. Click finish. And now we have our our data source available to create data sets against. 